My name is Stephen Luden. I'm chief architect at Akamai for our uh, site performance solutions. Um, my day job at Akamai is to make certain that the web is a faster place, a more secure place, um, a more scalable place. Uh, but recently, it has morphed into trying to make it become a more access accessible place, trying to figure out ways that we can be more and more involved in the community. Um, We've been a little bit on a tear in this recently, uh, trying to get more with you guys and reaching out and sharing. Uh, more, most significantly, we had the Moby test open sourcing that we did uh, a few months ago. Huge shout out to God Padra, uh, Guy Padrami for that one. Um, I know it's been mentioned here a lot. Um, it's a good thing. One thing we have at Akamai is we have a lot of tools. But the other thing we have is data, tons and tons of data. Um, sometimes I'm embarrassed to say we hardly use this data as much as it could be used. Uh, one significant stat is every 60 seconds, we have about 1.3 billion log lines get generated. That is a huge amount. It's more than we can go through. The uh, state of the internet report is, a, is a, something I hope you've all seen. Once a quarter, we get together and figure out what we want to talk about what happened in the last quarter. It's useful data. It gets quoted a lot. But we want to go farther. So we want to create, we're creating something that we're calling Akamai I.O. It's the Akamai Internet Observatory. The idea is we want to create a common place for people to come together, see statistics in real time and with trends about what's going on on the web, and use your community to find insights. We don't have conclusions here. We have data. We're hoping the conclusions can come from you. When I was a kid, um, I grew up outside of Philadelphia, and my dad would take me to the Franklin Institute to uh, look through the telescopes. And I remember being blown away at seeing Saturn or Jupiter or something like that. But I remember my frustration I would have when I get home, and I couldn't bring it with me. This is something we want you guys to take home. We want to give you insight into the two trillion requests that we see every day. We want to give you insight into roughly the 20 to 30 percent of the world's HTTP traffic. This is a big deal, and uh, I certainly hope it's going to be something that you're going to find useful. So to start, we're going to start small. We're going to have browser statistics out there, and we're going to do something a little bit different, breaking it up maybe by cellular versus non-cellular networks. Get a foot into the door. But the plans are big, and the plans aren't going to stop. So we want to break down by objects types. We want to have uh, page elements, uh, trends. We're gonna, we want to get to the point where we have an API so you don't have to go to our site to get the data. And most importantly, we want to get feedback from you guys about what you want to see and how we can make it more useful. To dig into some of the data, we have a couple of these. This is the uh, sort of the beta version of our, of our site. We've got a lot of statistics. Now, to go ahead and sanity check this, I wanted to look at a couple of trends. And so I isolated a few things I like to find. So first off, you see Firefox 12 and Firefox 13. 13 is in, 12 is out. 60% adoption by our stats in less than two weeks. That's huge. A huge shout out to the Mozilla guys. Second, um, I found this one. I, I did not realize this. But you look at the, these lines here. You have IE8 dipping every weekend. Chrome and IE9 going up on the weekend. So we now know what browser is used in corporate America and that they're a little bit behind. So let's get caught up. Um, another one is to take, and this, one's, this one surprised me. And when you get surprised, you have to step back and ask why. You look at cellular mobile browser share. And Android WebKit is up there um, you know, a little bit more than mobile, mobile Safari. But you look at that same thing on the non-cellular networks, and all of a sudden, mobile Safari is, by and far and large, the biggest browser. Is that iPad? What is that? I can honestly say I don't know at this point. Um, so one of you is going to figure it out. I look forward to that. So www.akamai.io, go there. We have a Google group getting set up right now. I think it's set up real time right now, akamai-io. We want your feedback. We want your input. We want to make this tool something that you can use going forward. So it's beta. 
This is a slice, tiny slice of the data we really want to get to. It's US centric. There's some skew to it. We're going to improve it over time. Don't let us relax. Don't let us be uh, complacent. And what's next? Well, hopefully lots are next. Um, on the way, way in here, I heard a talk by Ed Stone, who's a chief scientist for um, uh, the Voyager program. And he was saying the most amazing thing that he learned was not confirmation of what they expected, but learning something that blew away all their expectations. And I hope we get that out of this. And um, thank you very much for your time. <laughs>